Hey, what up everybody? Uh, this is Stevie Breach coming to you today. I'm chilling out outside, uh, waiting to uh, start my day. I woke up early because I think I'm used to my kids either, uh, you know, running and jumping on me every morning as they're getting ready for school. Uh, my body uh, doesn't let me really normally sleep uh, past 8 o'clock, 7.30 I woke up. Um, I moseyed around, you know, took a shower, came downstairs thinking that there was going to be uh, the breakfast uh, that we normally get when we go to uh, other hotels. This place has a restaurant, but they're um, charging an arm and a leg uh, for eggs and potatoes and so on and so forth. So I'll wait uh, until we get in the car and we can get moseying on down the road. I'm listening to the, uh, the Wrestling Observer today. Uh, still lots of talk about Brock Lesnar re-signing with WWE. Which, you know, really was a big surprising move. I think a lot of people were thinking that Brock would end up back with WWE, but it would be after WrestleMania when he would make his decision and he was officially um, able to go out and um, um, announce uh, that he was a free agent, go over, talk to Bellator, talk to UFC, talk to, I don't know who else is out there. Uh, that would want to bring this guy in, but as a free agent, you'd want to make sure you checked out every option that was out there. Um, Brock, you know, really put a lot of interest in WrestleMania 31, was saying that he was re-signed with WWE. So many people were thinking that it was a lock, stock, and barrel sort of thing that he was signing uh, somewhere else and that he would be leaving. Roman Reigns would be taking over as the uh, John Cena, Hulk Hogan, um, Triple H of the company. Uh, being the main interest guy that they're trying to, you know, push down their throats with the long hair and the big muscles and um, just, uh, you know, that sort of cool factor, I guess you could say about him. Um, but now with Brock resigned, does Brock really resign in order to lose at WrestleMania? Uh, it's almost to the point I don't even want to pick anybody else other than Brock Lesnar to win. Um, but uh, they're already uh, laying down the, the path for what Brock is going to do. Uh, you know, he's only going to be wrestling a, a few times a year. Uh, word is that it's going to be a three-year deal, three wrestling matches a year, sporadic appearances on, on Monday Night Raw to hype up the matches. Uh, and so it's not like we're really going to be getting more of Brock uh, than we were getting before. So the next three years just sort of be used to him not being around. Uh, WrestleMania 31, he walks out with the championship. Um, first time we might see him might be August uh, for SummerSlam. Um, they'll be doing a big show because of them being in New York and New Jersey. Uh, I guess they ended up in Brooklyn, so they're not even in New Jersey. But um, I don't know. They, they, they've talked about the next uh, big thing for uh, Brock Lesnar would be uh, maybe going up against The Rock at WrestleMania 32, which is their number one option for a match. Um, obviously the two biggest stars that they have, um, I don't know if The Rock's really under contract, but inside the WWE Universe, I guess you would say, and, um, that would be a big match. I mean, the dream for them is to get 100,000 people inside of uh, Dallas Cowboy Stadium. That seems to be the number uh, that everybody is thinking they can do. I think that it, 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 it could be a slam dunk, uh, for, uh, uh, for you know WWE to bring in 70,000 fans. That's about what they've averaged for the last few manias I don't know where those extra 30,000 people come from. I know Texas is a big state I know that uh, one of the main reasons I want to go to WrestleMania 32 is because Dallas Cowboy Stadium is sort of like a uh, a Point of interest that I really want to uh, see I would love to see a Cowboys game there um, but it's sort of like here with Levi Stadium here in San Jose. I could have gone to a Niners game last year, but it ends up the first time I step foot in my own football team's uh, uh, stadium is going to be for WrestleMania. Pretty funny, but uh, Niner tickets are expensive. It's a long drive to get here to San Jose for a football game. Honestly, if I was to go to a Niner game, I'd want to get here the day before, stay in a hotel, stay in a hotel the night after the game, and, and drive home the next day. Cause the game takes so much out of you, you, you wouldn't want to drive straight home, straight home, so it ends up being like an experience to go to the game. Um, backup plans for WrestleMania 32, I guess, would be Brock versus Undertaker. I know that Brock's biggest win of his career uh, has been uh, wrestling uh, at WrestleMania 30, beating The Undertaker and beating The Streak, something that no one thought would ever be possible uh, to accomplish. So. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. I know that WWE is planning on WrestleMania 32 being his last match, but if you're going to do Brock versus Taker again, why does Taker wait you know, another year to get his revenge? If he's only around once a year, why wouldn't he show up 
and challenge Brock to a match at WrestleMania 31. Um, he's has, having this match against Bray Wyatt that, honestly, there isn't that much buzz about. Nobody really is that ecstatic about it, so we'll have to see uh, what happens from there. To me, it, it, Taker's looks kind of stupid. I know that Bray's been calling him out, but uh, you wait a year in order to get that match. Why are you waiting another year? Taker should be calling Brock out and trying to get that match right now. I know he didn't win the Rumble. I know that Brock is the champion, but uh, Taker is Taker, and uh, they could have done a thousand things in order to make WrestleMania 31 versus Brock Lesnar happen, even if Brock was the champion.